The final story that we had in USA Today and ABC World News had to do with family and friends and how they impacted married women, single women, uh, really uh, uh, women of all ages, but particularly focusing on women in the 45 to 55 age category. One of the things that we continually saw is that the combination of marriage and children is a good thing for well-being. That in fact, when you put those two things together, well-being increased. We also saw that for married women, once there was a one child in the house, actually that's where they began to see even greater and greater well-being, uh, most likely through the fulfillment that they received in raising children. In fact, we found that about two children was really the ideal number to contribute to long-term happiness. We also saw that women that were able to launch their children by age 50, meaning uh, having them go off to college or in, uh, leave the house in one way or another, actually had sort of a second adulthood. And that second adulthood brought a lot of pleasure and enjoyment. Um, so it was a contributor to well-being, um, particularly if these women were free of caregiving responsibilities, had plenty of social time to do what they enjoyed doing, and that were really in a position to spend time with friends, with four core friends really being the the optum uh, according to the research that we've done. <clears throat> We're uh, we, the, the data that we see here is, is very fascinating because it really shows us that uh, so many things influence our life and certainly our families and our friends are, are, are big factors, but even the combinations in which they fall and how they affect us differently in different times of our lives uh, are all a factor in our well-being. There are some action steps that women can take uh, to try to really maximize their well-being as it pertains to family and friends. For instance, um, they can be smart about family uh, planning in the first place so that uh, they really do have the optimum family for what they're able to do, what their belief model allows, and what they can financially afford. Um, also, uh, they can make sure that their parents live healthy lifestyles. Caregiving responsibility is a heavy burden. In fact, one study that we did showed that uh, caregivers, uh, informal caregivers, actually performed worse in five of the six domains that we measure being almost dead even with non-caregivers in the sixth domain. So uh, it's a significant concern. Keeping your parents healthy and vital takes pressure off of you. Also making time for family and friends. Some of the work that we've done with Blue Zones and community involvement and working with uh, societies that live the longest, the healthiest, have shown us that being part of the right tribe um, is really important. So finding time with family and friends, uh, actually uh, exercising our option of socializing with them on a regular basis uh, can all have a very positive impact on your well-being. The other opportunity is to combine things like walking with a friend. If we walk with a friend, we both exercise and we get the opportunity to socialize and catch up. Uh, those uh, combinations of things like exercise and, and social health, uh, combinations of uh, better uh, emotional feelings and the reduction of stress that we get by exercising um, are a nice way to get multiple value out of the same activity. And then ultimately, and maybe something that none of us do quite enough these days, is finding that opportunity to laugh. Um, laughter has been said to be the best medicine, and in fact for many people it creates uh, hormonal changes that actually put them in a position to uh, fight off stress, some feel better about their lives, and enjoy life more. So let me just uh, stop there and say that that uh, we've been very excited about the coverage that we've had this week in USA Today and, and uh, ABC World uh, News. Uh, it, it's really shed a light on much of the work that we're doing, and we think it brings a, a great value to the people uh, that we focus on, in this case, uh, women and women in the 45 to 55 uh, year old age bracket. We'd be uh, eager to uh, hear about if you saw it, uh, what you thought of the coverage we got, and uh, just what you think of, of what we said. Uh, any input you could provide us would be valuable to us and we would appreciate.